Hi everyone and welcome to a Sunday tomato plant and chilli plant update I was away yesterday so here we go Oh there's the uh, thermometer, you see it? The temperature now That's the highest it's been, 53 That's what it is now And that's the lowest it's been So uh, that's the pepper, just give it a water, that's growing, it's doing all right. This is the Gardener's Delight, just zoom out a bit, and uh, growing and growing and growing. I need to take that out. That's the first lock coming up, truss, and then over. To the money maker and that's growing it's the first truss and there's a second one starting up there so that's doing well so that's my tomato plants a new thermometer so we'll go now and I'll show you the chili plant and that's the chili plant Looking very well, isn't it? If you can see it, lovely big leaves. Just give it a water, actually. So that's doing fantastic. How are you? Right, vlog time now. Um, so now you've seen my uh, tomatoes, my pepper. The thermometer is a good one. That's only um, what did it pay for? Nine quid for that thermometer. I like to know what temperatures is, you know. And uh, amazing heat in them. It's only a cheap, as I said, cheap B and Q greenhouse thing. But uh, pepper doing really well. Um, back from wild camping. Yesterday, in the woods, that's my first time in the woods. I've always camped on mountains and stuff like that. And uh, <clears throat> it's one of the best, how can I put it, experiences I've had. Oh. Lovely, pitch where you want. Because uh, as I said, it's private, it was with the landowner. Um, and like-minded people, the people I met there were fantastic and very knowledgeable, very knowledgeable. It's amazing, some of the camp craft, they made a chair, they'd made, um, oh, you know, a communal fire. Went out, got a rabbit, had rabbit stew. And then to top it all, could hear either foxes or buzzards fighting over the bits of rabbit, and the, you know. Um, what, oh, the rain on the tarp after going to bed. And, oh, fantastic. And I was warm as a snug as a bug, slept well. Wasn't sure how I'd sleep, you see, with being exposed, because I'm always in a tent. But uh, really good. I've got some uh, oh. video. Didn't film a lot, actually. Because as I said, I wasn't sure what type of, uh, you know, it's it's a place people go to to relax and stuff, and you know, it's uh, I don't want to be shoving a camera in their face, but they were very good. I uh, filmed a lot of, um, you know, the area, my setup, some of their setups, the nighttime fire going. Um, there won't be a lot of talking in it, just a bit, I think. But I'll put some music, I'll, I'll do the video, make it up sometime. And in my previous vlog, or the one I talked about, the the glass, the old glass from the pubs you used to get with a government stamp on them, uh, somebody said, oh, their father or grandfather had the, the old-fashioned glass, pint glass with the dimples in it. And I think you mean one of them. So... I'm only putting the in this for you to see. Oh, 
Oh, lovely. Need that after all the um, excitement yesterday. Now, this is an um, apology to um, that one song, Sue, if you're watching. I said um, in a comment I would show you the trail camera, the wildlife camera, and I didn't. So here it is. Um, that's what it looks like. That cost, it was 80 or 90 pounds in Maplins. It's called a swan. If you can see there, swan. The only thing with this, it doesn't record. If you record video with it and put it on YouTube, it doesn't come up as the full screen. And it doesn't record sound. Um, I have thought of upgrading to one that does the full uh, 720 the size of the YouTube um, with sound but the amount of times I use it I don't know if I can justify I'll probably get one knowing me but um, this is how it works it's waterproof that's there is the sensor that top one that black bit and as soon as that senses any movement start recording video and it'll record for 60 seconds and then stop and if it's moved again it'll record another 60 seconds but you can alter it to either record video or pictures take pictures or both I think and the middle one is the camera there that's the camera lens and the bottom there those lights are infrared lights so they come on at night so it illuminates the place like a torch as we can see it but you can't see it with your own eyes it's very um and it's got two clips there to undo to open it and i'll show you that now if i can there you go and that's what it looks like that's what it looks like inside, a little screen. You put four AA batteries in. That's the SD card, where my finger is, there. And the settings, uh, the menu, and uh, on and off. So you switch it on, and then you set it. It's easy. Switch it on, set it to video, photos, or both, and then just close it. Um, but I always take any equipment, I always take the batteries out when I'm not using it because I might not use this for a long time. Um, in fact, I might take this up to the woods where I've just been and see what it captures there when there's nobody there, you know. So, um, and there's woods around here. The only thing is, because it's black, it might stand out on a tree or something. And if somebody sees it, they'll just take it. But um, So that's the trail camera, wildlife camera. You can put a, a loop belt through there. There's brackets on the back. I'm not sure if you can see any of this. That you can attach it to a tree. It comes with a, a strap thing. Um, so it's a, good, it's a good bit of kit. And uh, as I say, I've tried it for paranormal stuff in the cemeteries and stuff like that and it works well didn't capture anything but it works well um, yeah so that's it I think is there anything else no I think that's about it so I hope that's a help to you uh, and to anybody else who's interested so I'm going to finish my um, Iced cold one from my fridge number two, my booze fridge. Did you like that? <laughs> the reason I got that was I've only got a small fridge, as you'll have seen the normally. And if I put four cans in there and a bottle, the damn thing's full. You can't get nothing in there. And uh, I was running short on lure pack and that, so. I thought, bloody hell, I have to buy a new fridge. But we wanted a, a small fridge freezer. 
and that's what that is, it's in the utility room. So um, that fridge is my fridge really, for my beer and uh, any meat or something that takes room up. And then uh, we didn't have a freezer before, we never bothered with one. So we can buy sort of stuff now, or if I have pheasants given to me I can prepare them and freeze them, you know. But uh, yeah, so anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good rest of Sunday night and I'll see you maybe tomorrow or in the next one.